Hello everybody, back Yal Balloon here. So today we're going to be having a look at a very cool coin indeed. It is the latest in the Queen's Beast quarter ounce gold proof series. It is the Queen's Beast Black Bull of Clarence. Quite a mouthful to say its full title all in one go. Uh, but here it is with the other three which I have in the set. Finally got it delivered from the Royal Mint. It's taken quite a while, uh, over about five or six weeks to get it actually delivered to me from the Royal Mint and I think that's just because they've been having some issues with uh, production simply because they were disrupted by all of the bad weather we had three or four weeks ago. So anyway, it is finally here. The bullion version arrived a couple of weeks ago and we're going to have a look at it compared with the proof version. But if you want to see just the bullion version, then go and have a look. The link is down in the description below to the video I did on that. Now, the Queen's Beast series is a favourite of mine. I think it's got so much potential for the future and I really do uh, love the proof versions. I mean, just the fact that you're going to have 10 completely different designs of these coins makes it look really very good indeed and it's looking great to date uh, and hopefully you'll agree that the bull looks pretty cool as well. So you can see here the four that have come out already. We have the lion first and then I think it was the unicorn second, then the dragon and now the bull. Uh, we haven't got the griffin, that's the only other one of the proof that hasn't come out, which has already come out as a bullion. Uh, so hopefully that will come out at some point, maybe later this year, we'll, we will see. Now we're going to get those back in a moment to have a look at, but for the time being we're going to unbox this, uh, this Black Bull of Clarence. Now, uh, as with the other ones, it comes in a cardboard box from the Royal Mint. I have to say, this time around the Royal Mint's packaging was a lot better. It was in a very sturdy cardboard box, not a jiffy bag that looks like it had been through a fence backwards. Uh, so, good job Royal Mint, you've done a you know, better job than usual there, so that's very good to see. Nice little cardboard box to display with the Royal Mint's emblem embossed in it, very good indeed. And then inside we have the leaflet. So I really do always love these leaflets whenever I get sort of a, a nice commemorative coin or a proof coin or something that comes with a bit of information. I always do like having a good old read of these. If you learn something new every day, that's a good day in my books. Now I'm not going to read all of this for you guys, if we can get it in focus then. Um, so you guys can have a pause and have a read through this if you so wish. Uh, but I think it's very interesting. So all of the information there is on the Queen's Beast Black Bull of Clarence. It's a very interesting kind of concept because there's, uh, there's these French lily emblems on there which you would think is a little bit weird having uh, French royal emblems on a sort of royal sigil. Um, but there's a reason for that and that, you know I've explained it in one of the previous videos but it's essentially the British or the English kings trying to uh, assert their dominance over France in the time when it was around. So there we go, that's the, that's the leaflet. Always nice to see and I think it's very cool to have that in any kind of proof coin. Now inside the box we have another box and it's one of the Royal Mint nice glossy wood finish boxes. It's, uh, it's very nice indeed and they look really good out on the table especially when you have all of them up like this and you can display all of your coins uh, and obviously they've got the magnetic uh, doodah where you can stand it up don't know what the exact technical term for that is, but uh, it's a magnetic stand and it looks very cool sat there out on your mantelpiece, if you so wish. Uh, last thing to look at before the coin is the COA. So we have here number 512, uh, the Queen's Beast Black Bull of Clarence, quarter ounce gold proof coin. And inside it shows the uh, specif specifications. So we've got it as a denominated coin of 25 pounds, struck in 49 gold, weight 7.8. Uh, Jody Clark is the designer and a maximum coin mintage of 1500 which is very good and also you see the limited edition presentation of 1500 as well which means they're not going to be producing any of these in kind of a grand you know collection set so that's a good thing protected mintage in uh, in that regard so inside the flip I guess magnetic flip whatever we're calling it the doodah I think I called it um, we have the coin and here it is. This is the moment we've all been waiting for to have a look at this nice and close to the camera and there is the proof version of the Black Bull of Clarence looking very good indeed. Now I'm not going to be taking this out of the capsule. It is a proof coin and this is one which I really do care about. Some of my other bullion gold coins I'm quite happy to just take out and touch my gold and feel it but uh, the proof coins very much not. Uh, it is going to stay in the capsule. Uh, it looks fantastic. I love, I love what I love most about these proof coins compared with the uh, the bullion versions is the light play when you have a look at it like that, and it really does work even off camera. Like when you're looking at it and you get the right angles, it just makes the design jump out of the coin. And if we jump into having a look at the bullion version side by side, you can see uh, sort of the difference. Really, you know, you've got the kind of I don't know what that is, the chain link background behind the bull. 
uh, that kind of distorts what everything looks like, uh, I think, of the bull's design. And obviously the bull itself is not frosted. Uh, but here we have the frosted bull with the proof shiny finish, and then bang, you get that light play, and the bull just kind of lights up as if someone's lit a spotlight on it. And I think that's what's make, what makes these really, really stand out for me. Uh, so the design really not that different to the actual bullion version. As you can see, the actual bull is pretty much the same, well, it's exactly the same. Uh, and it is the same on all of the other proof versions as well. Uh, what is different is the background and obviously the lettering around the side of the coin. Uh, you can see there, it's just the Black Bull of Clarence, 2018. And then on the reverse is 25 pounds. Uh, it's interesting that um, these proof coins, and I think it's the same with the others, I'll have to double check. In fact, we'll have a look in a moment, but none of them have 4-9 gold written on them. It's uh, obviously on the bullion versions, as you can see here on the right-hand side of the coin, fine gold, 4-9s, uh, and it also says quarter ounce. But on here, it does not say quarter ounce gold. It just says 2018 Black Bull of Clarence. Uh, so you'd have to have a, a good old think about that if you've picked up one of these without really thinking about it, but, you know, I think that's... Fairly obvious, it's a quarter ounce of gold. Fairly thin coin, as you can imagine. Um, same diameter and dimensions as a regular bullion version, but uh, obviously in proof strike. Very cool indeed. So let's get the other ones out and have a look at them all together. I think that they are a set which is performing very well at the moment. I've seen people um, you know, buying numerous ones of these uh, when they first come out and being able to sell them. They're a desirable product, which I think is obviously a really important thing for any kind of coin and it's something I always hark on about whenever I've uh, picked up sort of investment coins along the way or specialist collector items you know desirability I think is a really important thing you know aesthetics is also very important as well uh, and I think these look great they're going to be looking fantastic as a full set I mean I've talked about the bull's design and how uh, you know Jodie Clark I think has done actually a very good job with the bull there's a lot of people out there who really you know, they, they come down quite negatively on the bull's design and saying, it. well, at the end of the day, it's just a bull. It's not particularly attractive or pretty. But I genuinely think, and I'm not just saying this, I, I genuinely do think it's a really very good design of a bull. And certainly when you compare it with the uh, the other coins which are out there, uh, you know, you've got not a lot to work with at the start. A bull is a bull at the end of the day. It's not really, um, you know, the the most attractive of animals to start with, compared certainly to a dragon, a lion or a unicorn or a griffin, we'll see what happens with the griffins and everything coming out. But I think I do genuinely think Jodie Clark has done a very good job. But there are a lot of people out there who still think that it's not necessarily the best design and it's certainly ranking lower uh, in, you know, sort of the overall standings of the set to date than the other ones. Uh, I don't quite know where I'm going to exactly put it from, um, you know, comparing with the other coins in the set. I think they all have really unique kind of uh, things going for them as to the design. And you can see all of them here on the table. Uh, you know, they all have unique things going for them and I think it's going to be down to personal preference. But I do think that the bull is pretty damn cool. Um, probably out of these ones for me, I don't know, I think the dragon. I'm just leaning towards the dragon as that sort of favoured coin. Uh, but. I don't know. What's your favourite? It would be really cool to find out what you like the most of these four proof coins. Uh, I think it's very, very cool to have the four of them out here like this. We've got now a whole ounce of gold uh, out on the table and boy, they look good. Look at that light play coming out from those coins. Those are very, very pretty. And uh, I'm excited for the rest of the series. And I think that's one thing which is very important for a lot of people. Uh, you know, as I said, desirability is great, aesthetics is great, but having that kind of, um, I don't know, that energy behind the series, I think that's really important for anything. And when there's, you know, a lot of demand for these coins, and you've seen, we've seen them at the Royal Mint, they, these quarter ounce gold coins sell out pretty quickly, if we're being honest, Could, certainly compared with other proof coins that the Royal Mint sells, these go quite quickly, certainly in quarter ounce gold. So, you know, there is a lot of desirability out there. There's a lot of, uh, you know, secondary market people who are coming now to the series and wanting to pick up some of the earlier coins, which are completely sold out. So they do have, uh, you know, big premiums on top of them compared with the newest releases. So really interesting set. I like it. I think it's great. I'd love to hear your opinions on it. I think a proof ounce of gold like that looks fantastic. Certainly as size wise goes, the quarter ounce gold proof is the uh, the best choice for me, you know, collecting these in one ounce proof would be a very, very hefty uh, commitment in terms of finances. But at least with the quarter ounce gold, it's manageable and boy, will it look good at the end of the series. So let me know your thoughts about these coins in the comment section below. I think they're great, uh, but I'd be very intrigued to find out what the consensus is in the community. 
Now, if you like this video, if you like this coin, please do put a thumbs up on it and share it around on your social media. That would be very helpful to everything that I do here on the channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get a notification when I upload future videos, then please make sure you hit that alarm bell next to the subscribe button and you will then get those notifications. YouTube are being a bit funny about notifications and pushing out videos to subscribers at the moment. So if you want to guarantee that you see my videos, make sure you hit that alarm bell. Otherwise, that's about all I have to say. Thank you so much to everybody for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend, and please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.